So I go into Tokyo on Sundays for church, and um, this is us riding to the train station. Um, and you'll get to see a little bit of my church, too. Um, I'm recording this part from my dorm room because I was going back and looking at the videos I'd recorded. And um, I was recording the next one. I was telling a story. I was recording it in the train station, which is eki in Japanese. And um, my friends were making fun of me <laughs> while I was recording the video. So I'm um, re-recording the first part here. So I was telling a story about how um, it, in, in the Japanese train station you use these cards called PASMAs. Um, and it makes it really simple. You just go through a gate, you scan it when you get on, and then when you get off. But um, the line, the train line from um, Chiba New Tanshuo, my train station, to Tokyo is the most expensive one in Japan. So um, there are these cheap train tickets that you can buy at 7-Eleven that are discounted. Um, but I didn't realize that you put it into the machine and then it gives it back to you. And then you put it in when you get off, just like Pasmo. I thought you just like gave them your ticket and got on. So I didn't, um, I didn't take it back after I put it in. So when I got off the train, I didn't have anything to give back. So the guys that I was with was like, oh, you have to just walk through and pretend like you put it in. They'll know, but because you're white, they won't do anything about it. And it's called the Emperor's Pass, and I did it, and I felt really bad about it. And that's my story. This is the little church I'm attending, Tokyo International Presbyterian Church. It's Reformed Presbyterian, meets in Ueno, Tokyo, in a dance studio. Here are the people. And then in the afternoon, we went to Akihabara, which is... Um, famous for its otaku or nerd culture. So it's basically anime and manga headquarters pretty much of the world. Um, and we just, we walked around, we saw all the people and the craziness. We went to a maid cafe, which is like a themed cafe, very kawaii and the, the waitresses are dressed up as maids. But I read an interesting article that the spirit of Akihabara is really one of entrepreneurship and cutting edge technology and finding good cheap deals. So there's a lot of electronics and cool gadgets. This was an arcade we went to. It says Tokyo Rejarando, like Tokyo Leisure Land. Um, I am, oh, and look at how stylish she is. Um, here's inside the arcade. I'm really not into otaku culture that much, but um, visiting Akihabara was definitely a really cool thing to experience in Tokyo. Um, even though I, did, I ended up coming back the next weekend for ramen. Um, and this is Akihabara.